you know, I came from Switzerland, you know, and uh, I wanted to be a marine geologist, paleoceanographer, because, or an oceanographer, yes, because I thought the deep ocean is where we don't know anything about. You know, it's still to discover, to be discovered. I never thought on land you could discover something. Yes? So for 30 years, I, I've been all over the world, you know, from, uh, from the Bahamas to the Belize, to the Maldives, to the Great Barrier Reef, to Papua New Guinea. And now, because this ranch was not open to anyone to do research, and it becomes open, and so we are discovering here something in the middle of Texas. Yes, it's pretty uh, surprising. You think that you can still discover something like four hours, you know, driving from Rice University. And to think that nobody has ever, you know, kind of look at these rocks and study them. So that's quite nice. The ranch itself is called Eagle Ridge Ranch, but it's owned by Mr. Don Shepard, who just moved to Texas just recently. This ranch is in Mason County, southern part of Mason County. It's also, you know, kind of just south of the Llano River. It's a large ranch. It's for a Swiss like I am, 3,000 acres, it's huge. In Texas, it's probably not, oh, zebras. And little zebra. Okay. You have to stop this yeah, and we, yeah. we have to do this. These have been uh, the three summers here. Some of the happiest summers I've had in my life. I love nature and you, you see something like this. You know, it's priceless. Even the continent at some point was an ocean, yes. And not only once, but many, many times. And here, the, the rock record we have here is, you know, kind of an old ocean that was here 500 million years ago. You know, this is quite special. And um, lucky uh, Mr. Shepard, he has the best outcrops, you know, that exist in this area. So what's extremely significant and interesting about these is although these are incredibly large structures, they're built out of tiny microbial organisms that over thousands of years, layered, uh, layer upon layer, built these large structures. This rock, these microbial rocks are very interesting, you know, because first of all, they are very rare in a modern world. There are some of them, you know, you can go to Shark Bay in Northwest Australia, or you can go to the Bahamas where they are there. They were extremely common in the early part of the Earth, the Earth history. So we know that they are as early, these microbialites, those tromadolites, they, you know, were on Earth already about 3.2 billion years ago. This is 500 million. And so, you know, it's, it's a time capsule of what, you know, kind of we have, you know, here 500 million, but it's also what we would have, you know, kind of well in the beginning of the, uh, of Earth. As a matter of fact, you no know, NASA, has been very interested in the past 10 or 20 years to look at these rocks because, you know, if you think of any life outside of Earth, on Mars, yes, this would be the most primitive life, yes. And so this would be probably what you would find, you know, if we had life on Mars, we would start like this, yes, with this microbial, you know, deposit. So by coming here, we are learning more about, you no know, kind of this prime, you know, kind of early life setting. Well, up in New York, there's nothing like this. There's only one rock type. There's no, there's nothing as exciting as this. I mean, the fact that we're sitting in 500 million year old microbial reefs. When I came down here from Buffalo State, I never thought I was going to be doing anything like this. We, we have been using a little drill to sample, you know, kind of these microbial deposits. By drilling, I think it's by my, my past, you know, in the ocean, you only drill or call there, because obviously you cannot use a hammer. And I realized here very quickly that if you use a hammer as a regular, you know, kind of field geologist, the hammer only gives you what the hammer wants to give you, and it's always frustrating. So this gives us, you know, a great way, you know, kind of to sample systematically, you know, some of these features 
and we can now use them and do many different you know analysis you know kind of once you know we are back in the lab this is absolutely unique because you look exactly uh, at 500 million years ago where we can see pieces of little organisms that uh, were unique in, in that time here we can see absolutely these species of trilobites and brachiopods and lots of organisms that uh, were alive in that uh, 500 million million years ago and they're not here anymore we even at the very beginning we we acquired you know a series of uh, photographs using a drone and one of my students Pankaj Kana is a whiz you know in, in computer science and so he used you know, kind of all of these pictures we took, you know, to create virtual outcrops. So all of these outcrops, you know, we are going to see or we have seen, are now also virtual outcrops. So they are on computers with resolution of probably no less than one inch. And so we can do a lot of things. We can do statistics. We can do interesting, you know, kind of uh, uh, research just on the geometries and the images. Yes. So we're zooming it now, zooming in now into Texas, into Mason County, and into Mason County we are looking now uh, at these outcrops, and these, this is called as James River uh, in Mason County. And what we already see here uh, is there just some something interesting coming on. You can already see that you know that the resolution which we see is much higher. How did this come? The latest technology to build this digital outcrop models. This is important because now we can, we can have these digital outcrops in our labs and we can do as much study as we want over different aspects which we didn't had before. These areas in Texas you know, are extremely um, you know, private, you know, privately owned. And when a landlord you know, opened you know, this land and kind of allowed somebody like us to go and study them and come up you know, with some very unique you know, kind of research. To me, that's very exciting. What's nice about this for me, and uh, is the reason that I was able to study with Andre, is because uh, settings like this are very close to home for me. I'm from a small town, living on a ranch, uh, growing up, it was, it was a lot of fun, and I get to come out here and study uh, these amazing outcrops and it's uh, something that I grew up with, and it's, it's really nice to be able to return to that uh, in an academic setting. It's, you know, the record of life and evolution. You know, Charles Darwin was a geologist to start with, yes. He didn't come up, you know, with his theory of evolution, you know, just out of the blue. As a geologist and a paleontologist, you understand, you look at the record, the rocks, you know, tell you about this record. You know, it can be spotty, it can be good, but with this, you can understand, oh yes, before 700 million years, no multicellular organism. Suddenly at 700 million, you have this amazing expansion of life. You now suddenly when you have multicellular organisms, now you can have many different types of, uh, of life. So the geologists are really having, you know, kind of the main record of evolution of life on Earth, yes.